For improved system performance, long-term financial returns, and less risk on your PV projects, look to the proven performance of DuPont Materials and Solutions. Hello and welcome to the program. I'm Abby Nance. Coming up this week, Hanwha Group strikes deal to acquire Q cells. Major PV power plant projects announced in China, Japan, and the US, and Asia Pacific PV demand rapidly expanding. After much media speculation, South Korean conglomerate Hanwha Group has struck a deal with Qcell's insolvency administrator to acquire the company. Subject to creditor acceptance, Hanwha has agreed to assume Qcell's debts, which are said to be in the low hundreds of millions of euro. However, as a result, the actual sale price was said to be in the median double-digit million euro range. A creditor's meeting occurred Wednesday that approved the deal despite a late bid from Spanish PV manufacturer and project developer Isophoton. Major Japanese PV manufacturer Panasonic is making renewed efforts to build a profitable business in the North American solar market by offering project finance on commercial scale projects. After launching its Panasonic Eco Solutions operations earlier in the year, Panasonic has teamed with US firm Coronal Management, which will form a new dedicated solar focus company that will partner on projects with financing solutions. Panasonic will therefore be providing a complete turnkey offering along the lines established by the likes of First Solar and SunPower. A number of large-scale utility power plant projects have been announced this week. GCL Poly has been given the green light to begin preparing for the construction of a 310 megawatt ground-mounted PV system and a 30 megawatt rooftop solar project in Dantong, Shaanxi Province, China, after it received approval from the National Energy Bureau. The newly founded Japan Mega Solar Power, formed by Japanese home renovator West Holdings in June this year, has revealed plans to invest $1.3 US billion for the development of 250 solar PV plants over five years in Japan. The plants will have a combined 500 megawatt of capacity and are being built with a goal of taking advantage of the higher tariffs the country is offering for renewable energy. Eight Minute Energy Renewables, a developer of utility scale solar PV projects, has received conditional use permits for three of its large scale PV projects from the Imperial County Board of Supervisors. The projects have a total capacity of 275 megawatts and will be built in the Imperial Valley, California, in partnership with Gestamp Solar. Turning to financial results, Chinese Tier 1 PV manufacturer Rene Solar reported higher module shipments on the back of increasing focus on expanding its solar module business. The company posted 233 million US dollars in sales, up 10.2% from 211.5 million US in the prior quarter. Despite the shipment gains, Rene Solar was impacted by falling ASPs and polysilicon inventory write downs, generating a net loss of 34.8 million US dollars. More losses were reported by Yingli Green, despite module shipment volumes increasing by 13.7% on sales of 488.5 million US dollars. Declining ASPs were behind the losses that climbed to 90.2 million US in the second quarter. The company revised down its PV module shipment target to be in the range of 2.1 and 2.2 gigawatts, representing an increase of up to 37.2% year over, but significantly down from previous guidance of shipments reaching as much as 2.5 gigawatts. And finally, the expected geographical shift in PV demand away from Europe to the Asia-Pacific region is turning into a surge, according to new research featured in the NPD Solar Buzz Asia-Pacific Major PV Markets Quarterly. 
Year on year, growth is expected to be around 80%, but 50% of that growth, which is equivalent to 5.3 gigawatts, is expected to occur in the fourth quarter of 2012. Key markets driving growth include China, India and Japan. That's it for this week. As always, you can find out more about all these stories on the PV Tech website. Thanks for watching and see you next time.